Hello friends, I'm Mr. Andre and this is Miss Kim. Hi guys. Welcome to week four of our teen film club and we're doing our stop motion paper cut animation film of the tortoise and the hare. Everything we've done so far has led up to this moment of the filming day and Miss Kim is going to review the process. Okay guys, so if you remember we started with an idea and that idea was jotted down into character development and setting development. In character development, we decided what type of personalities we wanted our characters to have. In set development, we decided where this story would take place. Next, we started our script writing process. We broke down the different types of things that are inside scripts, such as setting, shots, transitioning, and dialogue. Then, we wrote the script which is here. And I showed you guys that our script contained all the necessities for a great script writing. After that, we went on to developing storyboards. The storyboards show you picture by picture of how to tell your story so that way you know what, what shots you need based on your script. Now you're prepared for filming day. Next, we're gonna talk about equipment. You at home have access to a phone. You can download editing software and your phone will allow you to take photographs. Because we are taking a stop motion paper cut film, you need 24 pictures to make one second of smooth animation. Some of our shots will need the 24 uh, photographs, but most will not. Today we're going to talk about the filming day where all of this comes together with your equipment, your cast, and your crew. Let's begin. Today is filming day. We've gathered our cast, which are felt. We have our set, which is made of paper. And we have our film equipment, which is either a phone or a recording camera. And because we're doing stop motion paper cut, we need 24 frames per second, means 24 pictures per second to create a smooth animated image. Some of, our, some of our images need to be 24 frames per second, but most do not. So, what we're going to do is, as we take each photo, we will move the actors and the set. So, we'll begin with the beginning of the race. Our rabbit challenges our turtle with the crowd behind him. Then, we will start the race with our rabbit and our tortoise next to one another and this is where the stop motion comes in we will take photographs of every shot as the rabbit takes the lead the sun moves across the sky and the cloud falls behind as our rabbit takes the lead we have the apples to give us markers as the rabbit and the tur tortoise makes progress. This is blue because we wanted to represent the morning. They're on their green grass and as the rabbit passes the apple he gains his lead. As the sun moves across the sky we move from morning into the afternoon and we must take photographs of every movement in order to create the animation. Okay guys, so by this point you see that the tortoise is in the lead and the hare is still far behind. So he's not going to start out in this angle, in this shot. As you see we have our moon because it is nighttime. This race has taken them all day. So we're at nighttime with the moon. So as we're moving the turtle closer, as we're moving the tortoise closer, we're also going to move the moon and the clouds. And here they agreed to reach to the run to the peach tree so you also see the peaches moving behind the tortoise as he moves forward peaches are underneath him and you're just going to keep moving it and then once he's far enough ahead you want to start bringing your hair into the picture now when you bring them in you got to bring them in hopping because that's what tortoise that's what hares do hares hop so when you bring them in you're going to bring them in hopping because that's what hares do. Hares hop. And it doesn't, you gotta remember, you would need to take a picture of him going up, 
picture him midway, picture him down, up, and that is how you do your shots. Every time you move the hair, you move the moon, the clouds, you move tortoise, you move the peaches, and so on. All the way till you get the tortoise to the end and the hair still hopping, trying to catch up. We also made sure that we put our crowd back in. They've been waiting around all day too, guys. Go figure. To see who won the race. Slow and steady gets the process done. Well, library friends, wasn't that fun? Everything in the previous weeks led up to this moment. You must prepare because if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Shooting day is not a day for experimentation, for adding or taking anything away from your story. Filming day is the day that you execute all of your plans. Whether you work with human actors or felt like we work with, you must be prepared. Ms. Kim? Like Mr. Andre said, we spent weeks of preparation and time to get this project done. Just remember, preparation will equal perfection every time. You guys have a great day. Bye. Bye.